Hello everybody. In this short demo, I'm going to show you Macintosh system 3.2. It's the system version that came out with the Macintosh Plus. That's the one we have before us. In 1986, I am going to zoom in a bit so you can see better what's going on on the screen. <clears throat> All right, so directly on the disk, we have, as with every Macintosh system, the system folder, which contains the system files you need, including a file for the hard disk 20. So Macintosh th system 3.2 was the first one that included support for SCSI devices. In the utilities folder, you have an installer, um, which was used for exactly that, to install the system onto an external hard drive such as the hard disk 20. What we have in system 3.2, if we look at the finder, is finder version 5.3. It's a little bit confusing. <clears throat> um, they actually rectified this by system 6. So actually with system version 6, the finder was also on version 6, so they harmonized the, the system versions over the years. We have some desk applications as with every early Macintosh classic OS. Again, we have an alarm clock like in system 1.1. There is nothing fancy about that. Then we have the calculator. Again, very basic calculator. Then we have the chooser, which we cannot use now. This was uh, used to choose files for a printer that was connected. We don't have a printer connected and I guess many of you won't. The control panel is the one you could also see in the movie Jobs with Ashton Kutcher. It allows you to control the Mac, such as the speaker volume, the click speed, the desktop pattern, and a bunch of other stuff. Then we have the keycaps program, which I've already shown you in system 1.1. But this has been upgraded. So now you see also when you have a Macintosh Plus keyboard connected, like I have at the moment, you can also see the numerical keys that have been added. And again, if I type something on the keyboard, it shows what you're typing. So it's quite handy to test keyboards. And again, we have the scrapbook. The scrapbook is a place to keep pictures, charts, text. So it's basically a clipboard where you can copy things into it. Um, where you can, well, you use it as an intermediary storage to move things from one program to another, because as with every classic macOS, you could only run prop application at the time. And that's basically all that's to Macintosh system 3.2.